Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to our YouTube collaboration through Hardworking Mom. Um, I'm sure you all just saw Dawn before me. She made a beautiful wreath. All right, so we're going to get started. I'm actually using one of the new signs in my collection. I make uh, wreath signs, custom signs, um, children's room signs, you name it. All right born to be free and I'm also debuting my newest gnome which matches the sign okay now this sign comes in an eight inch circle or it comes in a nine by seven rectangle sign I have links in the com in the um, description to my Etsy store and so on all right let's get started I'm using a 14 inch wreath base. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure you can see it okay. You may have to bring you down just a little bit. Sorry. There we go. How's that? There we go. All right. Now, my wreath base is a 14 inch wreath base, and I am using 21 inch red mesh. I make my own wreath bases. They are Dollar Tree wreath base with tinsel tie um, ties. I do not like using pipe cleaners. They rust out and break. So for me, this just works better. All right, so we're gonna do like 10 inch poofs all the way around. See, I can really twist the heck out of these um, tinsel ties and they really hold up. I've not had any problems. I use them to um, hold my wreath signs down. I use them for my bows. I did start this already and I did um, use a zip tie to attach it to the wreath so it's not going anywhere. <coughs> I do hope you are following our YouTube collaboration. In the comments, I will have um, Teresa's information. She is after me. She's making a patriotic mailbox swag, which I think you'll really like. So you will find a link to her YouTube page. I've decided to put the red on the bottom because when you're when you're doing a design and you're using red there are a lot of different variations of red out there this comes very close to the sign but I don't want it to clash with the noom so I've chosen this on the bottom and then I have another color then I'm going to do ruffles over top of this. So it's going to cut the color down some and not make it so um, strong. I'm just going to get tucked back down in there. And when I get done the other row, I will attach it together with zip ties now I don't want to start off with this piece because it's so uneven so I'm gonna finish it off and make a clean straight edge it just makes for a nicer wreath when you take the time to do it right <clears throat> so we're gonna gather up the ends going to put it past the zip tie that we're using to tie it down with. I could have went right from there up to the top level, but I like to start clean. And feel free to ask questions along the way. This is pre-recorded. 
but I will be on moderating and answering any questions you have on the spot. This is just a basic red mesh. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can subscribe if you want to be notified when I have a new video up. You need to hit the bell. It's a really nice soft mesh. My ruffles that are going to go on top, they were cut at um, 18 inches. always hot glue my tinsel ties to the wreath base too for extra stability. When making a wreath to sell it's always important to go the extra to take extra measures because you don't want it falling apart on the customer. The customer will never come back. So you only get one chance to show them that you did it right. <clears throat> and by using the tinsel ties, I'm showing them I'm doing it right because they're stronger than the pipe cleaners. Anybody that watches my channel knows that that's all I use. <clears throat> have a Facebook page, I have an Etsy store. Now we're going to pull this through and we're going to match it up with the other one we have here and we're going to tie it down together. There are a lot of people out there that don't do this and that's fine. I just prefer that the customer We'll see the back and, and look at the neatness and know that I, I try to make it as clean as possible. Okay, so there's our base. I'm going to pull these tinsel ties up so I can find them. I get my tinsel ties from Sims or Trendy Tree. They don't all carry the same colors, so sometimes you really have to look. Like there are only some that carry the black and the blue. And there are others that carry the gold, the silver, the white, the pink, turquoise. You really have to shop around. So you have a dollar in your base and then you have about two, two dollars or so in your tinsel ties. So if you were to buy a work wreath already made up, you will have more money into it. All right, let's see. I may just do the ruffle with the curl. Let's see how we like it. When I design, I do change my mind. I know the effect I want, so sometimes I have to switch it out. I think I'm going to go with the ruffle method. Yeah. 
I chose this mesh because it matches the ribbon. It cuts down on the red and it lends itself to the sign and the noom. Because I've got all my colors in here, the red, white, and blue. I do like to tuck it down on the edges a little bit just to keep the frame to a minimum. Now this is, I thought I saved the tag. This is a jute mesh. It does have a little bit of jute through it, but it is the poly mesh. And then it has the um, metallic stripes running through it. And as you can see, I'm just overlapping the edges. stripe goes right down the middle so it's easy to follow it along and have your ends even. <clears throat> Occasionally you have a stray piece you have to trim off. Loving the shine coming through to the top layer too. Don't forget to ask questions along the way. I like doing it this way on YouTube because that way you have me right there to ask questions. A lot of times when I'm on Facebook, the, the comments disappear. So I don't always get a chance to answer everyone back. I also put a link in the description to Hardworking Moms. Um, 
page. If any of you are thinking about starting your own business, she has an awesome YouTube um, group, a re-therapy group, and a business group. I've been with her for over a year now, and I've learned so much and grown my business. And sometimes it's nice just to have a helping hand to get started. <clears throat> first row and we'll start on the second row It's good to overlap these. It kind of cuts down on the frame. Any mesh you have will fray. The metallic really helps the mesh hold up too. It makes it stronger. So anytime you can use a mesh with metallic in it, it's a good idea. what's nice about having these pre-recorded too you can watch at your own convenience too it doesn't have to be when we're on a live which you can do the same on our Facebook page anytime we're live on there you can always go back to videos and check out other videos and there is a link to my Facebook page Towards the end of the roll, it gets really curly. And when I design my signs, I design them with ribbon in mind. It just makes it easier to coordinate everything. any okay we got three more in here
most of you make wreaths or do you buy them? Like what's your, your choice? And I also make the logos and I also do um, custom aprons too with your business names on them or license plates with your business name on them that is if you're a state that allows a license plate in the front okay so really you only have a little bit of the red peeking through here and there which is what I wanted to accomplish all right now we have this ribbon choice tails these are cut at 13 inches so I've got the stars with the quadrifoil and then I have eh, I'm not sure if I like that against there let me see I, I kind of like the red against it but I think I'm gonna stick with this because the stars are popping off there enough. All right. So now we're going to start by putting the tails in. Yeah, because your, your stars are showing up good. I just love all the sparkle that's showing through. I'm doing is folding it in half and then pinching it in the middle makes for easier placement so you can get it closer to the tinsel tie and it holds up better and then you can pull and curl these under the ribbon all came from Sims pottery if you have a wholesale license, they will sell to you. Sims is really awesome about getting your items shipped to you right away. I've had one company, now I realize there's a lot going on now, but I have one company that I've been waiting on things now for over a month, and they're advertising all these specials, and I'm thinking the poor people behind me are going to be waiting probably even longer, and I don't think that's fair. If you can't ship in a timely manner, you should be able to let people know how far behind you are with your orders. 
not just tell them you're a little bit behind. Over a month is more than a little bit behind. I will be posting this on my Etsy site. So if you're interested in purchasing the wreath, purchasing the wreath, you can go on there. How am I ending up with one extra? Like I missed one along the way. Yes, I did. It's right there. All right. Makes sense. this one open if I can't find the one because I can put the bow there. Yep, I'm going to leave this one open. All right, we're going to start on the top layer. I do hope you all are staying safe and finding things to do in this unusual time. I do have a sign I just made too if you like Yorkies. It says Independence Day. I can swap the dog out for any breed. I just own Yorkies, so that's why I put them in the sign. hope you're liking it so far. We're actually going to make a bow too to put on it. <coughs> me where you're from. What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? Has your state opened up back? Opened up yet? Back up? 
Stars is actually opening up this Friday in Pennsylvania, but only certain counties. So, I know there are a lot of people that are disappointed, but I think they're just staying safe. going to put our sign over here. Where was my bow? My bow was going over here. So I think we're going to put a sign over here. Let's make him higher than the sign. See him? Isn't he cute? We have the cheetah here and the cheetah here. The stars, the stripes, the star. This is, I think this is called Mongolian fur. It In the beginning it sheds a lot. So I have to spend a lot of time with the um, lint brush. But once he stops shedding, He's good. I like it because it has a very long um, pile to it. When you get your gnome, he actually comes with the tinsel tie already attached. If you want him as a shelf sitter, just let me know because I can um, remove those ties. I have it on there to make it easier for anybody who makes wreaths to attach it, but I don't have to put it on there if you just want them as a shelf sitter. There we go. I always make them extra long because sometimes the wreaths are very thick. But you can go back and twist it in there and trim it up. You don't want it pulling the wreath down. There we go. Now. And we'll put him here and then we'll put the bow here. Because where's my hole? holes right here so the bow can go here. All right. Sometimes it's easier to use a needle. I find it's easier not because then I can get through onto the frame. I'm not putting it through the mesh. that until we see if I have them where I want them. <clears throat> okay. Go 
one in for the other one. I think the tinsel tie is much easier than the pipe cleaner pulling it through. Straighten up our tails here a little bit. All right. There we go so far. make our bow. See if our bow, easy bow, stays firm. It's been playing around and popping out, so we'll give it a shot. this because I have this in the sign and I like it. Now, when I flip this, it's going to be the wrong direction. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it again. That way my stars are in the upright position. A lot of people don't care and I think it looks sloppy if you have it in the wrong direction. That's just me personally. See, again, it's in the wrong position, so we're just gonna give it an extra twist. Now I'm doing these at six inches, the loops. And my tail. It's going to be at, let's see, I'm measuring backwards here. <laughs> so, about 12 inches. When I'm looking at a wreath and I see the ribbon upside down, that's a huge distraction for me. All right, now I want to get some of this solid in here. So again, I'm going to do our, our tail at about 12 inches. I'm actually going to make these the same size as the ones before it. My easy bow is holding up just fine. I really hammered it in there. Okay. And a 12 inch tail. Dovetail. have our stars. I'm going to go just a little bit shorter on this for the next two rows. Just like a half an inch. And I'm going to do four loops. Always use a 
bottom so we'll measure it. I like pulling in another ribbon that was not used in it previously um, to give it some more visual interest. And like I said, because I have this already in the sign, it works. Now this is gonna be about the same size as the previous ones, the one before it. I also tell everyone that when you buy a sign from me, if you've seen me use a certain ribbon that you don't have and you're interested in, all you have to do is contact me. I can sell it to you by the roll, by the yard. All right, now with this one, we're just gonna go a little bit shorter than the one before it. Like I said, like a half an inch for the next two. For the last one, I'm going to do just a single, actually I think I'll do three. I'll do two loops and then one in the middle. I use that one in the middle a lot of times. Well, actually, I'm just going to do one little loop. I use this a lot in the middle to disguise my um, zip tie, to kind of hide it. And because I really don't want it fighting with the quadra whale, I think this will be just a nice touch to kind of pull some of the colors from the bottom. All right. This is always the fun part, getting it out without it falling apart. <laughs> I just pull it a little bit so I can get my tinsel tie under there. I don't know if I told you, but all the um, fabric on my gnomes, I print and make myself. So that's all been printed by me. Let's see if we can get it visually. There you go. I print all my own fabric. I had help from a few team members. There we go. Now. Working with your bow, you're going to be pulling it up from the bottom. You're going to start at the bottom. I want all my tails to be in the front. 
down front. See, and by doing that twist, my flag came out right. Red is the next. What you're doing is you're pulling them and, and fluffing them up, see, using your fingers. I used to be intimidated by bows. Not anymore. When you have the right equipment, it just makes it so much easier. My husband made my fluff box for me and my, uh, my um, wreath holder, or mesh holder. All right. It's got a little bit of flow there. There we go. Have to pull it forward some. position where we want them and see if you pull it tight enough down below you can stretch it bluff it up higher on our wreath. Do such a good job overlapping, then you can't find where you <laughs> where your split is. There we go.
There we go. Now, I have some, some um, mesh tubing here. I'm going to add a little bit of this. together. I think it'll just give it a little bit of a pop, which is what I'm looking for, just a little bit. I could have um, added some carnations too, but I think this will just lend itself to the um, glitter that we got going on here. I just kind of eyeball it. That looks nice. How are you liking it so far? Find the end. I'm holding it. I'm not going to go all the way around like I'm going to scatter it like here, 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 that kind of. Just is looking pretty. And I always like to do this in odd numbers. So I will either stop at five or I'll stop at seven. Put some down here. Just gives it another little pop of color. Don't forget to check out my signs. I have a lot of farmhouse ones and whimsical ones. lot to choose from. Something to please everyone. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think we'll stop with five. Does it? What do you think? And again, it's available in these eight inch circle, or yeah, eight inch circle, or the seven by nine. And then we also have the little Yorkie. And if you look back at my videos, I did a video the other night of, um, of the bubble method, and I put a pie plate on the inside, Velcro on the sign, Velcro on the pie plate, and stuck this right to the pie plate with the Velcro. So you can 
start with just a neutral base and switch out your sign every holiday or season. There we go. Okay. All right. I appreciate you joining me and I hope you um, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I go live. Again, I want to thank all of you for joining me tonight. Um, don't forget in the description is the link to Wreath Addiction RN. Teresa is going to be doing um, a mailbox swag, a patriotic mailbox swag. Don't forget to check her out. And thanks. Bye-bye.